Luxury real estate is taking a twist with the trophy rental. There are eye-popping prices on these folks. Rates, rates can go upward of $50,000 a month. Candace Jackson with our mansion segment is right beside me to talk all about it. Hey, Candace. Hey, Wendy. What is driving this for people to sort of say, all right, I'm not going to put invest all my money into a home where I'm going to have that equity, but I'm willing to just, as people sometimes say, blow it on rent. There's a couple different factors. I mean, one of them is very similar to what's driving the rental market overall. People are just still a little bit unsteady about buying a home right now. They don't know if the market's still going up, if it's going to go down again, you know, if they'll get a return on their investment. The other factor is just simple lifestyle things. You know, a lot of very wealthy people own multiple homes and they want a place where they're just going to be for six months or a year. Maybe it's not worth it to them to buy. And now they don't have to. I mean, there are amazing rentals out there that are, you know, like you said, 50,000 plus a month and they don't have to really give up the the lifestyle they're used to. Let's work up to $50,000, $35,000 okay. a month. Let's start there. Okay. Not too shoddy. Don Peebles, uh, what did he do and where did he move his family? So Don Peebles is a real estate developer and he moved his family from the Miami area to New York and he decided to actually combine two apartments um, that he's renting to make a very large um, 4,700 square foot place that has views of the Hudson River and he pays 35000 a month. But he said, you know, he owns several properties elsewhere in the Hamptons and Miami still and it, he, his primary residence does not need to be a financial investment for him. And here in New York, there are some penthouses on the market uh, for, for, I think the price starts around $30,000 a month and goes up to around 50000 yeah. Tell us about them. Yeah, I mean, at the new Frank Gehry building in Lower Manhattan, they've added, they've recently put on the markets the penthouses and they range from 30,000 to 50,000. The top one is on the 76th floor. So you can imagine the views from there of, of all of Manhattan. Um, and with it actually comes a little suite for either your nanny or your maids or your in-laws, a separate apartment down the hall. And what about one Mima Tower? That's also in New York. That's yeah, that's a newer building in New York as well. And they'd noticed, um, you know, an uptick in the high end of the market. So they're this is from related company. They're offering their most expensive rentals there yet. They go up to I think twenty thousand a month, and for twenty thousand you get a twenty two hundred square foot penthouse. Now it sounds great not to be tied down, right? To real, I mean, you own something, you got to deal with it, you got to take care of it. But yeah. there can be real drawbacks to renting, particularly at this level. Yeah, I mean. You're shelling out a lot of money every month is right. the obvious one. Um, also, you know, when you're renting, it's just not quite as steady. You can have a landlord who decides to really raise the rent or sell the place or, you know, decide not to renew your lease for whatever reason. So it's not as permanent as buying. But this is pretty much happening across the country, California to New York. It is, yeah. I mean, we're seeing, especially in New York, Miami, and L.A., the very high-end markets in San Francisco. All right, Candace Jackson, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you.